Hey YouTube, Happy New Year. Welcome to RenderTest. Let's get this video started. Okay, I know a lot of people hate long render times and you know there are sometimes messages which come on our screens which says GPU out of memory. Do you guys get that? I'll, I'll solve all those problems hopefully in this video. Just stick around, okay? Let's go. All right, so I have a new Blender scene open. I literally didn't change anything, guys. I'm just gonna show you. You can see that the render settings are open. Everything is all default. Blender, light, light paths, all these numbers are all default. We're just gonna use default. And on my screen, you guys can see one cube, one floor, one area light. That's all. The cube literally has one material called cube, right? Colored, metallic, roughness. That's it. The floor has a flow material. The roughness is all zero. The light is basically an area light. I just aligned it, put 1500. That's it. No other change. Okay. If I go on my screen here and I go on rendered view, you can see the render view literally on that, right? Now I rendered this and I have it open. This is the render at default Blender render settings, right? You can see there's just one frame, one minute, eight seconds, man. What is happening? Okay. And then memory. This is it. That's it. A cube and a floor at default settings is one minute, eight seconds. That's insane. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. So that's what's happening over here. If you guys are working on a project, go open that scene right now, render it and tell me how much time it took for your render right now in the comment section below. Watch the whole video. Hey, don't go anywhere. Watch it right now. Try my settings and then post the final render time in the comment section. If we did beat your time and we get a good render, you know, the results are not that different. Please subscribe. I love you. Please. Okay. With that out of the way, go to edit preferences. Make sure you go to system, go to optic X and select your graphics card. Remember this will be on a default Intel or AMD, whatever you have select your personal graphic card, which is actually in your, this thing. That's the first step. Once you do that and come into the render settings here, you should see that in cycles in device, it'll be CPU, change that to GPU compute and you're done, right? That's the first step. Okay. So I already showed you how much time it already takes, right? For the first frame you saw at the default settings, I'm going to change it here. Open up your blender, do exactly the same thing. Okay. We are going to go to cycles, GPU compute. I have my render thing open. I'm going into my render view. This is blender 4.3. So keep that in mind. Noise threshold. Put that to one. You can put this to one. It, it never needs to be that low. Remember the lower this is, the more noise it will try to clear out from your render cube. And that's going to take a lot of time. I have found the sweet spot to be 0.5 to one. You can put anything in the middle. So I'm just going to, let's say 0.6 guys. Okay. So I'm going to put this to 0.6 sampling. You do not need a lot of samples, dude. If you really want to get rid of your noise, like if you, no matter what you're doing, there is some noise after, you know, the denoise hits, then you can bump this up guys. That's the only thing. Remember if you, if you have a render and it looks good, just stick with it. Okay. So max samples maximum is hundred minimum is 80. So I'm just going to put hundred. Let's go to the max. You guys really don't need more than hundred. Just check for your scene. If you need more, just do it. Okay. So with those render settings, go to denoise, optic X, albedo and normal. That's it. Okay. Now go to your samplings in your, this thing. Once you have done with your render settings, go into lights here, switch off this light tree. You don't need that. Just switch it off. Why do we switch it off? Don't ask, please just switch it off. Now we come to light paths, light paths. The total is 12. That's default. 12 is good, right? You can put this to eight. Eight is also good. Remember the more this is, the more light calculations happen. You don't need 12. You can go with eight. Eight works. If you feel that your lighting is changed dramatically, then you can bump it up. Got it. All right. Once your light path is done, we skip volume, subdivision, curves, simplify motion blur film is skipped, right? You don't need all of this, especially if you do want simplify and motion blur. It depends on your scene. If you have motion blur, put it right now we come to performance. This is where everything breaks or makes. Okay. So first thing, so make sure it's set to auto detect. Second thing, use tiling. You know what this use tiling does when you hit render, if you don't have this, it will render the whole screen at once. If you do use tiling, it will break the screen into small cubes and render each cube that is called tiling. You guys have got that. 
Okay, now when you have that, do you see what is this 500? It's a tile size. So what this means is, if your screen is 1000 by 1000, okay, let's say your render view is 1000 by 1000, 500 is 500 by 500 cube. It takes that as one tile, renders that, renders, renders, renders. So if you have 1000 by 1000, you're going to render per tiles. Understood? Okay, good. Now that you guys understood that, do you guys remember that memory out of GPU and GPU out of memory and something is out of something, dude, I don't know what it is. Okay, whenever that thing comes, it's because your tile size might be too big. Remember, if your tile size is too big, your GPU tries to compute a big tile at the same time, right? Making it a smaller tile helps the GPU a lot. And for me personally, this I was always set to 2000. And that's why I did a lot of research and then I'm like, let me try this, right? So I came down with 256 to 512, works really well. If it's not, try to go a little bit lower, but I believe when you make this low, that GPU out of memory shit just goes away. Try it out, awesome. Now with that out of the way, let's imagine this scene itself. If I actually put a texture, like a normal map or a texture map on the cube and the floor, do you remember when, I'm, I'm talking as if, when you render the screen, right? It says loading kernels, loading materials. Have you guys got that message? It loads the materials because you have materials in your scene and then it starts the rendering. Remember that? And then when it goes to frame two, it will load the textures, load the kernels, it will load it again. That time takes a lot of time from your rendering. If you don't want Blender to keep continuously doing it because you, you, you know that, hey, listen, I have 10, 10 materials, keep it in memory and just stupid, just render it, dude. You don't have to keep telling me, oh, I have five materials every time, right? So if you wanna save time, switch on persistent data. What Blender does is it looks at the scene once. It says five materials, two lighting, three this, that, this bullshit, one cow, three squirrels, two dogs, right? So it takes everything, puts it into memory, and then it remembers this. So when your frame one is rendered, frame two, it won't, it won't calculate that again. It will directly skip to render. Remember, persistent data, switch it on. With this, guys, we literally finished all our settings, right? So let me go back here and show you that my render resolution is 4K by 4K. The previous render I did was 4K by 4K, right? So I'm just gonna keep it 4K by 4K. Remember, I'm just gonna say render region. Make sure this switch is on as well. It'll only render the inside boundaries and not worry about the rest, right? Once this is done, you guys remember the timing? Let's, in front of you, I'm just gonna get, hit render again. And there you have it, right? So the time is now, it's, it's gone drastically low at 38, right? So all the settings which I told you still can be improved like your samples, like the noise threshold, which was 0.5, set that to one. Light paths, it was set to eight. You can actually go down to six, right? So these main major things, try to lower them and see how much can you push the boundary so that your render does not look that different from a, you know, a very well uh, long taking render. So do these steps see if it helps you. This is what I use and when I render my animations, the whole scene, it really helps me, right? And it really quickens my render speeds. So I hope this video helped you. If it did and your render time actually kicked down, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I wanna thank you all so much for 3000 subscribers. Our next goal is 5000. So uh, let's see if we can hit it. And happy new year guys. I love you guys so much. Have a have a great year, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.